All right, here's how we actually really set up our heat exchanger. We use two heat exchangers because in the summer our water gets fairly warm. So let me just trace what's happening here. I know it looks like a mess. Okay, so we have the work come into the pump. Then from the pump, it goes into the secondary heat exchanger, which is this little, basically, milk chiller like this. The work comes out of that chiller and goes into my large main heat exchanger. It comes out of that into my oxygenating stone, and from my oxygenating stone I use a really long hose, the longest hose I have, that goes to my fermenter. At the bottom of the fermenter I have a T, so that when I start transferring, I can push all the sanitizer out. Once I see clear work, then I close off the drain to the right there and open up the bottom to the fermenter. Now the water comes in, it's just a hose, it goes into the main heat exchanger. When it comes out of the main heat exchanger, it's about 110 degrees, which is still cooler than the wort. So it gets pumped, it goes up into the little heat exchanger, basically pre-chilling the wort before the wort gets to the main heat exchanger. Does that make sense? Then the water that comes out is actually about 150 degrees. We recapture that water and we send it back into the mash tun, which I've cleaned, and then we'll use that for cleaning at the end. Not simple, but it works.